to take out this nest of wasps, we're going to use a super soaker and dish detergent. We'll fill it with soap and water. High concentration of soap to water. I don't want to make any sudden fast maneuvers here. But you can just see them rolling in and out of there. In fact, that other one just zipped right past my head. That's a lot of them. The sun is starting to go down, and at dark, I'm going to take this high concentration dish soap and spray it all over the hive. Right now I'm starting to see them come in and out still. At dusk, they'll all go in. It's starting to get darker. You can see them come in and out of the nest still. I'm waiting for them to all go in. I'd say in about 10 minutes, it's going to be completely dark. They're all going to be in there. I am in no way suggesting that this is something that you want to do. This is just the way I do it. I have found that if I have no lights at all, they can't see me. If I have a flashlight, they come after the flashlight. At this point, most of them are going back into the hive, and there's not a lot of them coming back out. Now we'll pump it up. It's really dark out here. We're going to wait for the last ones to go in, then we'll give them a spray. I don't like the flashlight on, but I'm going to spray it and turn off the flashlight. Soak it down really good. I've got the nest sprayed down, so I'm going to go with round two and just keep putting soapy water in there. Make sure you have plenty of air pressure. Pump it up really good. Now this next round, I am not going to take the flashlight back. I'm going to spray the nest, but because I've already started the attack, they're going to be on to me, so no lights. So round three, I'm going to be putting soap and water into the hive. I'm going to take a stick, break the hive open, and spray into the hive. I've got this really long stick. I'm going to tear the nest open and spray it with soapy water with the super soaker, and I can't have any flashlights or they'll come right after the light. So I tore the nest apart with the stick, and so far, no stings. They don't know I'm there because I don't have a light. Now, I would not recommend that you would do this. I would say put in, bring in a uh, professional exterminator. This is just the way I do it. Round three, I'm really gonna soak down those pieces of the nest. I've got everything soaked down. I'm gonna go in with the camera and the flashlight, and if I see anything move, I'm turning off the light. Okay, so we're getting closer. You can see right there, everything's all torn apart right there. It doesn't look like a nest anymore. Here, It's been about a half an hour. I'm gonna go back in there and check. Okay. Anything that moves, I'm gonna turn out this light, but you can see it's really tore up. And there's the pieces right down on that tarp. I'm going to keep soaking them down. I'm going to soak down all these pieces. Down here as well, everything. Make sure everything's soaked with water and soap. It's morning. Let's see what type of activity there is. I see a few of them buzzing around. Actually, there's quite a few. I'd say about 20 on top there. The soapy water did not take out these wasps like I was hoping. Because the soapy water didn't work, we're going to have to use something like 7 dust. We'll mix some of this in the water, and then we'll pour it on the nest. I'll set that mixture right here until it's totally dark. It's totally dark, I'm going to take some of this water and pour it on there. The next morning, there's a lot less activity. We'll sprinkle this on the nest when it gets dark. It's nighttime. I'm going to put this powder directly on the nest, and I'm going to turn off the flashlight to make sure they don't come after the light. Today there's no activity at all in this nest, so it's dead now. You can see these white-faced hornets all over the place. There's a pile of them right there by the nest. If you leave a nest like this long enough, the skunks will get it. They'll climb up, they'll tear into it, and the next day you won't have a nest. Although I was able to get this nest completely knocked out, Without getting stung, I would not recommend doing this yourself. The last thing you want is something to go wrong and have this many wasps come after you.